The Anti-Defamation League is opening a new satellite office in Brooklyn to ramp its efforts up to combat anti-Semitism. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is at the Borough Park Jewish Community Center to explain why community leaders believe it is important to take a hyper-local approach to this issue. With this signature, a new partnership was born. The Anti-Defamation League, which celebrates its 110th anniversary this year, has opened a new satellite office based out of the Borough Park Jewish Community Center. It's about incident response, working with victims, working with law enforcement, etc. We've been really, for all intents and purposes, lost and left alone. And while many during these times have showered us with lip services, the ADL has made bold and has taken bold actions uh, to publicly uh, defend this community. The borough is home to more than half a million Jews. I'm proud to be here today, but I'm also sad to think that this beacon of Jewish life, this cradle of so much Yiddishkeit, has become the epicenter of anti-Semitism in the country. ADL leaders say this is in response to its recent audit of anti-Semitic incidents last year. New York State had the highest rate in the country. In New York City, 395 total incidents, more than a third, 147 occurred in Brooklyn. That includes 52 anti-Semitic assaults. There's never been a year worse than 2022, at least since we've been tracking. Every victim belongs to somebody. I know that because my son Ari was murdered on the Brooklyn Bridge in the ultimate hate crime of terrorism. Leaders acknowledge not just the challenges of combating hate, but also the legal definitions that often prevent them from being prosecuted. Hate crimes are actually down in this county by stats, but many of these hateful incidents don't qualify as crimes. The spitting, the harassment. In Borough Park, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. Hannah is our community journalist in Brooklyn. If you have a story there and you want her to cover it, please email Hannah at brooklyntip at cbs.com.